the warmest of welcomes to you. We await the conclusion of the pre-game formalities. I'm Peter Drury, and joining me here, our expert, Jim Beglin. Well, thank you very much, Mr Drury, and hello to everyone. And that gets things running. Forward it goes. Now, can he capitalise? Shoots! Big moment! Massive goal! Listen, the big names earn their reputations for precisely the reason we've just seen. They have a habit of making their presence felt, and here we are, early stages. He struck one, and he looks hungry for more. Uh, given such an open invitation, he was always going to shoot. Yeah, and teamwork was key to that. A beautiful piece of uh, engineering to, to set him free in the box. Barcelona go ahead, one goal to the good. Done very well to intervene. Rakitic, Sergio Busquets. Mascherano. Oh, no, that's not the ball he wanted. Piquet. First quarter of an hour gone. Barcelona scoring in the first ten minutes to give them a 1-0 lead. Goes wide. Oh, well defended. That had to be done. Danger averted for now. Dinks one in. Steered out wide, but he won't reach that one. Messi. Now it's Luis Suarez. Looks to slip it through. Suarez has a go! Big relief, it just needed better contact. Look and has a go. Daniel Alves. Iniesta. Well, the score's only 1 0, but that doesn't tell the full story. Throw in. Early ball. Tries a through ball. Jordi Alba. And it's Neymar. Neymar needed to come up with a better ball. Yeah, and it was a case of, of good awareness too. That wasn't quite matched by the, the right way to pass it. Only needed just a little bit more behind it. And he was through. And we hit half time. Well, they showed glimpses of some wonderful football to go in with the lead at half-time, and that's definitely pleased the fans. I think they'll be looking to keep this intensity up now in the second half. Barcelona leading a cagey game here. It's had its moments, and it's 1-0 at the break. Well, 1-0 may be good enough, so they may err on the side of caution and, and get more players behind the ball instead of running beyond it. They could even try to, to spoil it from here, we'll see. it out to the wing Jordi Alba Iniesta it's pretty clear that he's being singled out yeah and they finally reacted but 
they could have been more switched on before he, he scored. He has crossed the line and it's a throw. This is promising. That's surely a foul free kick. And the defence can get it clear. PK. Luis Suarez. That's a throw. There is some activity down on the touchline. It seems there's going to be a change. So, Jim, what are you thinking? Well, this lead is beginning to look a little delicate. I'd rather see them show the ambition and adventure to go further ahead. But it seems as if they settled for a, a riskier approach now to defend this. Now the pass. And that'll go straight through to the keeper. Stegen gets it upfield. He could have been in, just needed a better final ball. Well, the idea was crafty, but the weight of the pass was just a little light. Massive leap! In it goes! And with the match slipping away, they have hauled themselves off the canvas. A great delivery and a finish to match. Yeah, I just thought he wanted that more than anyone else on the pitch and it was fully deserved. He gave it everything he had. Final checks on the touchline. A change about to occur. Well, his stamina was called into question then, but there's absolutely nothing wrong with his heart and, and the effort he put in. He was very willing, though, not quite able. And that has added a whole new complexion to the game. Dinamo Zagreb surely know by now that they've put so much work into producing the equaliser that they'll battle on for a winner. You know, it's, it's all one-way traffic for them now, and they simply have to capitalise on it. Ford shows there will be three extra minutes. He's away! So that's it. It is all over. A game chock full of moments and talking points. It could have gone either way. But chose in the end to share its spoils. It ends in a highly entertaining draw. How do you look back on